point. In Washington, some members of Congress are hoping to further examine some of these issues. A bill sponsored by Florida Senator Marco Rubio called the Academic Act would authorize the Department of Education to study the COVID-19 pandemic's impact on students from pre-K through grade 12. It would specifically take a look at how disruptions to in-person instruction have affected not just learning, but also behavioral development and well-being. Child psychologist Dr. Marlene Bloom says the pandemic has been especially rough on older children. I think the remote learning was really hard on the teenagers, um, particularly the ones who really needed social interaction or the ones that don't get along so well with their parents or really any teenagers don't need to be home all day with their family. In a statement, Senator Rubio said understanding the pandemic's long-term impact on students' academic achievement and well-being is critical to avoiding future mistakes and correcting the ones we've made. While the bill has bipartisan support in the Senate, it will face an uphill battle to move through Congress as it does not yet have a sponsor in the House. Back in Albany, Catalfamo says when it comes to learning challenges during COVID, many younger children going through this experience don't know their life in any other way. You know, moving forward, this is something that's just normal.